Good morning everybody. I hope they're all having a lovely day. It's been such a long time since I created a vlog and I kind of missed it because honestly watching vlogs and just like creating vlogs is like my favorite type of content to make just because it's just very real and I feel like you guys get to get a glimpse of my life. So it is actually October 9th. It is Friday. It is 12.56 in the afternoon, so it's not even a good morning, good afternoon. But I actually wanted to like create this little like cozy weekend fall vlog and I actually wanted to kind of like give you guys like a little glimpse of two things that I really want to share that happened this week. And the first one being that on Tuesday, I actually went and got my nails done. I'm not sure you guys can see it, but they look super cute. And and I got like some very cute fall colors and I actually took a various clips of me going over there and like the whole process so I'm going to insert them now And now it is Friday, like I told you guys, and I actually wanted to talk to you guys about this series that I'm watching. Well, I already finished watching it, and it's just Emily in Paris on Netflix. It is so, so, so amazing. It is just like so high vibes, and it honestly makes me want to literally book a trip to Paris right this second and work at a marketing firm because goals. And I just like absolutely love it. I actually kind of learned like two or three french words let me see oh my please if you know french i'm sorry i don't mean to like offend you or anything but i honestly like want to start learning french and because of the series i actually learned like about two or three words the first one is we oui. we oui? we oui. i think that means yes and then the second word that i learned was compliqué is it complique and it's just like complicated so yeah i have a doctor's appointment at 2 p.m straight and i'm going to the dermatologist just because i have like a i don't know like there's like a dark spot on my i have like is that literally a tsunami alert what the heck Okay, you guys, so it was nothing. Do not worry, I'm fine. But like I was saying, I actually have a dermatologist appointment today just because I have like a dark spot on my back, which I'm not really sure what that means. But you know, like it's important that if we notice like random stuff that goes on in our body or that just appear, it is important to just like book a an appointment with your doctor to just like check it out. But I'm hoping and praying like it's nothing. Actually you guys before I head over to the doctor's appointment that I have, I actually want to show you something that I bought the weekend before this one at the supermarket which i'm super super excited and happy about and i'm pretty sure that you saw this on my fall room tour video that went up on my youtube channel but in case that you didn't make sure to go check that out but in case that you didn't this is what i want to show you guys i have a pumpkin you have no idea how much i've wanted a pumpkin and something like this so simple like you must be wondering like why the heck fabiola like wants a pumpkin and oops i'm wearing my i'm wearing like a cute top and then i'm also wearing like my pj bottom so <laughs> we love that um but here in puerto rico it is very like difficult to get pumpkins like this because we don't really like have the fall season like we don't experience the fall season whatsoever here because here it is basically just like summer all year round so the leaves don't fall we don't have like the beautiful fall colors which is very very sad so like the only thing that really 
brings me into the fall mood and the fall aesthetic is just like my home decorations and the fact that I just got my very own pumpkin which I'm very happy and excited that I got it so I just wanted to share that cute little pumpkin with you and something that makes me happy in order to just like remind you about the simple and little things in life just like it means so much and that you need to like appreciate all these little things that make you happy and bring you like contentment and excitement into your life so i just wanted to like tell you guys about that now i think it's actually time to go to the doctor's appointment so i'll just catch up with you guys then <laughs> just got home about like an hour ago from the doctor's office and she said that it was nothing serious so thank god because of that i was a little bit worried i won't lie and then after i went to uh, the doctor's office i actually went and ate some lunch with christian and it was basically our first time like since quarantine started that we went to like an outside bar area i guess and we just had lunch there which was super exciting and fun because it was something that we used to do quite a number of times before this whole stuff happened and then i just got like really happy that we got to do the same thing months later so the food was so yummy i actually had to take like some leftovers well a lot of leftovers back home just because they packed up that plate thankfully so i'm just going to catch up with you guys tomorrow morning i've said it many times i know i would change my ways i know for sure when all the crows decide to leave They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday So yesterday, like I already told you guys, I went to the dermatologist and then I later went out to lunch with Christian. After that, I actually helped Christian like prep for an interview just because he is graduating in May. Finally, I'm so excited for him and for our lives after that. And he's finally gonna get like a big guy job, a big boy job in May after he graduates. So he is so like filled with like interviews this whole like semester and i'm thinking that the next semester is going to be even more um so i kind of prepped him for that just because i did like i consider myself to be a person that like does pretty well on interviews and i've taken like a public speaking class and in that whole semester like we focused a lot on like job fairs and interviews i am like pretty knowledgeable on that topic he ended up going to bed at like 2 30 in the morning and i crashed at around 11 11 30 and oh my gosh you guys i went to sleep with makeup on what I have never in my 23 years of life have forgotten to take my makeup off and yesterday I forgot apparently and when I woke up this morning and saw myself in the mirror I was like 
full-on concealer like no imperfections and i was like am i dreaming or did i just like forget to do my skincare routine ever since the start of october i have been trying to wake up at 7 in the morning or 7 30 you know realistically and i go into my living room and one thing that i like to do is doing some quiet time and reading my bible if i'm gonna be real with you guys i can totally do like a faith journey i guess if you're interested in that like let me know but i don't think i've ever like owned my very own bible ever since the start of this new year i've been wanting to like better my relationship with jesus and the lord and god and i've been doing that very like slowly but like mighty like i got my first devotional which was this one right here here's my my little bookshelf over there um this is a devotional that i completely read since the start of this new year i liked it it wasn't my favorite but i liked it it did the job and i did get a lot of valuable information out of this but then after i finished it i felt in my heart that i wanted something more and so i wanted to take like a break of reading devotionals because i do like have another one which i bought which is this one right here when i was going to start reading it i noticed that it starts from january 1st and we're like in october and i know that i can start like the day that i'm currently at right now in october but like i already said i wanted to take like a break from reading devotionals so i thought that the next step in my life was to just like purchase my very own bible so i asked my friend Haley on Instagram and here on YouTube. I'm gonna link her channel down below as well if you wanna check her out. She's like very, I don't know, she's just like very positive and gorgeous and she's just like very deep into the word of Jesus. She recommended me to get this Bible and this is the She Reads Truth Bible and I got it on Amazon. If you want to like get it i'll definitely link it down below on my amazon storefront which includes basically everything that i own in my house and lifestyle stuff like that i found this girl she's um adria santiago and i follow her on instagram and she also follows me back like we're friends i guess and <laughs> and she does like some bible study with me videos like on her youtube channel and the first thing that i've been doing every single day is just play her videos i feel like so much peace and so much so much happiness like before during and after i do that and honestly it has become my favorite like hands down out of everything that i do it has become my favorite activity to do in the morning and in the day to be honest so I can definitely do like a faith journey if you want me to do that like in the near future just like please if you really want to see that just like comment it down below like literally comment that you want to see that and i'll do it because like i really want to make sure that you guys are interested in that um so i'm just like very happy with like this new habit that i've developed and it had made me it had completely changed my life to be honest and i just like love it and i feel that it has brought me even closer to god and closer to jesus and i'm just really happy and excited that um i wasn't like forced to do it you know because i get that a lot of like religious parents and i'm not trying to offend everyone anyone but they like not force their children to like go to church or stuff but you know it's part of their lifestyle and it was part of my lifestyle but i'm really happy and thankful that my mom gave me like the freedom to like choose it for myself if i wanted to and she did like talk to me about the word of god and she keeps telling me about it like every single week um but i just feel that i'm like very happy and blessed and grateful that buying my bible and like diving into the word of jesus came directly from me and came directly from my heart i hope that i'm like explaining that well 
So I'm just like very happy and grateful for that and it has led me to like even want to do more just because it comes from within myself. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that little update and hopefully like inspire you as well. But right now I actually think that I should make breakfast, wake up Christian and do that before 11 because I'm actually going to be posting a fall room tour today so please make sure to go check that out if you haven't already but yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and do that and i'll just catch up with you guys after that Okay, you guys, so now it is currently 10.46. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I'm going to upload my video at 11. So I'm just going to be here waiting for that time and doing like some behind the thing, behind the scenes stuff with my video while I do that. So yeah, very excited. I quickly wanted to show you my outfit of the day I'm feeling like such a fall cozy queen and actually the day is like very gloomy so I'm like it's like literally the perfect day to be like wearing something like this super cozy and cute so the first thing that I'm wearing is just this super cozy pink sweater that I got from forever 21 it's very like thin but it like keeps me warm so we love that because we live in a tropical climate over here and i'm also wearing this cute little gingham dress that i also got from forever 21 it's like the perfect fall staple if you're like in a climate that doesn't get that cold but you still want to be in the fall mood so i have this and then i'm also wearing my kristen made hair scarf that i absolutely love and it comes in three different colors and i'm also wearing my whatever lola earrings so a little update you guys I haven't eaten breakfast and it's almost 1 in the afternoon but Christian's dad is coming to visit us today and I think we're going to go for a brunch and I'm really excited for this brunch place because the menu looks so delicious you guys and I haven't been to brunch in forever ago and even more because of quarantine I'm really hungry so let's just go and eat some brunch walking around the house trying to see if I have everything because I'm actually going to get some Baskin Robbins some, oh my god I just hit myself with the desk but we're gonna get Baskin Robbins right now it has been one of my favorite activities this fall season just like getting Baskin Robbins and having a movie night and just like watching Harry Potter so right now we are out of ice cream so we're going to get Baskin Robbins. I'm personally gonna get a Pralines ice cream, Pralines and cream, something like that ice cream, which has been my favorite so far. I haven't had that since like high school TBH. Like I was obsessed with it back then, so we're so excited. But I have my keys here, and now I just have to meet Christian in the car. So let's go ahead and get some ice cream. Cheers.
always order the pint of ice cream and then the dude was like okay for two dollars you get twice the amount and i was like of course like this will last me all freaking week and look at this huge baskin robbins pralines and cream ice cream thingy like it's like a huge bucket of ice cream right now and I'm so excited to eat it. And then after we went to Baskin Robbins, we actually noticed that the sky was looking prettier than usual. And Christian had the most amazing, amazing idea to go to like the beach side because we do live rel relatively close to the beach. So we went to the beach side and you guys, the sunset was insane like whoa in my five years living in this city like i never knew that that little like place existed where we can just basically see the sunset so 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 beautiful and so i got home we got back home and i'm actually filming a fall night routine video so i got my pigtails on i have like pumpkins i also have like a fall candle that fall night routine video 2020 will most probably already be up before this video goes live so i'm pretty sure y'all have watched it but if you haven't this is your reminder to go check it out once you're finished with this youtube video so yeah i'm like all cozied up i also have like this super cute like loungewear i'm gonna show you guys my loungewear in a second and i'm also wearing some halloween socks some spooky socks okay can you guys see this yeah you get you guys can see that but look how gorgeous is that but for the rest of the night i'm just going to be filming what i do so if you see like a dent in this video it's because i filmed a fall night routine and that's basically what i did this whole night so please make sure to go check that out and right now i'm actually going to show you my outfit so let's do this okay so Oh, this is that candle that I am burning currently. It is the white pumpkin candle from Bath and Body Works and it's so, so yummy. But this is the cutie little set that I got. It's very like fallish and comfy and cozy. Perfect for the fall night routine and perfect for just a fall autumn night in general. It's so beautiful and cozy. I love the bottoms and they're just so gorgeous i'll be filming this little night routine and i can't really be filming like two videos at once i mean i can but like it's going to be super repetitive so if you're wondering what i get to do throughout the rest of tonight make sure to watch the fall night routine video i'll link it on the description box of this video so i'll catch up with you guys god willing uh -huh. 